Jonas going places. We're recording again. Oh, 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 wait. We're recording. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you cut out for a second. Oh, really? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Let me tell you something about power. Like, this is very, this is very um, crucial to what, especially what we're doing right now. Power is, is, is kind of a hit or miss, you know? It's kind of a hit or miss. It's like, power is good because, you know, you feel in control. You, you, you're the master of your own domain, as Jerry Seinfeld once famously said. But it's like when that control is taken away from you and you're powerless. Oh, see what I did there? Powerless. Without power. Without power. Oh, my gosh. Without power. That could also be a synonym, prepositional synonym. Um, I think that once you're without power, you know... You know, you start to go a little mad. I'm saying this in the, in the, um, in the physical sense and mental sense. When well, you you're... try everything to keep your power. Yeah. You think everybody's coming after your power once yeah. you have it. And then you become paranoid. Mm-hmm. And nobody likes to be paranoid. I mean, I'm not paranoid, right? Right? Who, right? Who are you talking to? I'm talking, I'm talking to you, right? You're listening. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm listening. Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Do you think, like, you're talking to a microphone or something? <laughs> like, do you think people are recording your conversations? Let me let me tell you. I I have a... You know those FBI agent memes? I decided to be funny and name mine. Her her, her name is... Like, I assume she's a, a woman because FBI, agent, FBI agents are women now because of, you know, protocol. Women have to be in power, so that way it's a balance, equal playing field. I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. But um, her name is Marguerite, and um, I just feel as though she's either Latin or French. You know, she's sassy. She's probably watching my life, wondering, why isn't the show canceled? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Somebody's watching an FBI agent named Marguerite. No. Is watching your life. No, I assume. You are Marguerite. I assume that the FBI agent assigned to me to watch me and to monitor me and all that. I I feel as though I've given a, I've given that person a character. Said their name's Marguerite, mm-hmm. and she's probably wondering why the show that she's watching, My Life, isn't canceled. Well, she, I'm sure she could cancel at any time. Yeah, she's an FBI agent. She can do it without anyone knowing. Oh, my God. Could you think of it? Could you believe no loose ends? So if you're not here on the next podcast, oh my God. we know what happened. Oh, my God. That means I won't be able to go to New Orleans. Wait, we're going to New Orleans? We're going to New Orleans. Oh, my God. Have I not talked to you about this? Oh, so, Joseph, we're going to New Orleans. We're going to be there for four days. Um, Four days? That's a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. But you know what? We deserve it. Um, I thought we were only doing like two nights, three days. I mean, before I even knew where we were going, that's what I I figured. Well, you know, it's what it is, you know. Um, You what? What? I, I don't think... I feel like we should start over. I don't think the the chemistry is there yet in the for the episode. Oh, this? Yeah. Okay, well. But we don't have to start over. We can keep going. And then you edit it, right? I can. But you don't like to edit these things, do you? Not really. You like it raw and uncut. Mm-hmm. Just like me in a Venezuelan bathhouse. See, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Got a little personal there you know what and you know what honestly oh no cut that's what this podcast is i'm gonna give you look we can get personal on this this is what we're here for right this is what we're here for it all started the day i was born my mother said that i pissed on the doctors when i exited the womb and i believe it because i've been pissing on people my entire life (laughs) And uh, it's all gone downhill from there. 
So this is about as personal as it gets. Yeah. For you. Yeah. All gone downhill from there. Let's mm-hmm. get personal with you. Me? Yeah. There's nothing interesting about me. Nothing interesting about you? I don't believe that, Joseph. Why would you be on this program if there's nothing interesting about you? So my name's Joseph. Oh, this is this is merely a coincidence. People with same names, they deserve podcasts. Well, just us. Oh, just us? Yeah. Oh. Well, actually, I know uh, my friend Cameron, he has a podcast with a guy named Cameron. Another what? Cameron, yeah. It's called the Camcast. What? It's, they haven't recorded any new episodes, though, in a while. Competition. That's that's what this could be, though, because we skyrocket. skyrocket and they're like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Those two turkeys with the same names, they're going places, and we're two turkeys that need to be up there as well. Yeah, they're both white, though. They're both white. No flavor. No. Oh, God. How unseasoned. It's like cream cheese and mayonnaise. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Those are not flavored add-ins. Um, I think... <laughs> I think that, you know, we, 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 we run with this. What we do is they're, they're, not, they're not putting out any new episodes. We put out... It's been as, over a year, I think. Over a year. Yeah. Over a year. That's a problem. People need to be updated. People need to know. What we do is we we just dole them out. We pass them out like they're cookies, like the M and M's. Like, and then what will happen is we'll skyrocket, and then they'll just they'll notice our fame, and they'll be like, "We need to be those two turkeys." And I keep making references to turkeys. I don't know why. Maybe you want turkey. Um. And then Maybe you're just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, you be quiet, you. Um, and then what will happen is they'll want to put out, they'll start wanting to do podcast, podcasting back in their normal program. But the problem mm-hmm. is they'll have to catch up because they won't have as many episodes. No. No. But I think they, they're around seven right now. They're so, around seven. Six, six or seven. So what we need to do is we need to quadruple what we've been doing. Well, well, we'll be recording another show in New Orleans. Yeah, we will be. We're going to New Orleans? Yeah. We are? We are. Like, why? Next you... week. Next week. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, that's so soon. But if you're listening to this next week, we're already there. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Hello, people. We're now in New Orleans. Not right now. Not not, not now, right no, now. No. Not, not right now. Unless well, you're people... listening to this next next week. Yeah, when you're listening to this next week... We'll be in New Orleans. Now, if you listen to this the week after next, we will mm-hmm. not be in New Orleans. No. We'll be back in Georgia. I'll be in Florida, though. I will be in Georgia. You're going to Florida. I'm going to see Cameron. You're going to go see Cameron? Of the Camcast. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I like this. You're going to see our rival? I've what known they, him a while. What if he poaches you? I don't want to live in Florida, though. No. No, no one wants to live in Florida. No, I don't think he wants to live there either. No, no one actually wants, no one says, you know what, I've always wanted to live in Florida. No, because you have the, you have Floridians there. Mm-hmm. You have Hispanics there. <laughs> Tell oh, me about it. So many Hispanics. I'm like, oh my God, it's gross. Because you're so close to Cuba. Like, naturally. So, <sighs> you have Disney World there. Like. So expensive. Exactly. It's so expensive. But you have Universal there. The Harry Potter world, you know, a revelation. But, um. Lego, Legoland? There is Legoland. Mm-hmm. They you have remember, Bible rem- World or whatever down there. You remember Nickelodeon Studios used to be in Orlando, Florida. I went to the Nickelodeon Hotel once. My mom took me. Did you? Yeah. Did you go in that elevator that, you know. I they, don't remember the elevator. That they only showed in commercials that make people want to go stay there? I'm. I might have been in the elevator. I remember we got a, I think I got slim. did I get slimed on? You got slimed on. Or I got pied. <laughs> that was a big thing, remember Nick? Getting pied? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't get slimed on though. You didn't get slimed just on, cream, but you, you just got, got the cream pie. You got cream pied. <laughs> yeah, as a child. <laughs> You as a child got cream pie at Nick. Oh, my mom too. <laughs> I cream pied her right after I got pied. <laughs> I hate you. Why did you? We have pictures. <laughs> there are pictures of you cream pieing your mom. Well, this is the aftermath. Oh, the aftermath. <laughs> 
the cream's all over us. Oh my gosh. You need to be stopped. Um, but no slime on. You didn't get slime on. What, no. Did you prefer a slime? We on? did watch a show where people did get slime on. I was hoping I'd get picked, but I did not. Uh, did you? Um, were you hoping more for the slime, or did you enjoy the the cream pie? I was hoping more for the slime because mm, yeah. that, that was the thing growing up. Yeah, was the slime. Yeah, nobody just wants to get cream pie. I did pay, take a picture with Squidward too, wow. but you can see I'm not very happy because I wanted to be take a picture with SpongeBob. Of course, no one watches SpongeBob for Squidward, and it's and it's weird. So many people. Even I've even said this comment that it's like you grow up liking SpongeBob, but you then when you when you're older you relate so much to Squidward. But then again, it's like even though I relate to Squidward, I fucking hate that jerk. I wish he I wish he were dead. Like he's always raining on SpongeBob's fun day, you know. Well, he tried to move, remember, and that, he did it didn't try to work move. out. Yeah, well, it's his fault. Because They're kind of codependent all, on that show. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they really are. Yeah. I mean, what can you expect? He's a cashier at a, at a, at a burger place? Are, are Krusty Krabs burgers? Of course. Are they hamburgers? They are hamburgers. How? I can't tell you what everything is on they if there's secret sea sauce. Cows? That's probably Apparently. where they get the meat from, sea cows. Or they just take polluted trash and they just dig or it up out of the ocean. Maybe the secret ingredient really is plankton. Maybe. I can't wait to see how that turns out. Or it's Aren't like, they canceling SpongeBob now? No, they're not canceling SpongeBob. They canceled um, Fairly Odd Parents. Well, if you saw a post, I thought SpongeBob was ending like in another year or something. No, I thought I, no, that's, thought I saw a post about so the that. The thing is, SpongeBob recently hit over five billion dollars, like as a whole. Well, they should definitely cancel it now. Why? It's just not good. And and they like they hit like over five billion dollars in merchandise, and so that's a very big deal for uh, Nickelodeon because that's the one show that they have that really brings in a lot of money. That, the, SpongeBob is Nickelodeon's Mickey Mouse, isn't that weird? I mean, after season three, it should have ended after the movie. But I can see oh, why they want to keep man. making money. Oh my entertainment. Yes. We can't be as loud. They're going to bed right now. Okay. Okay. And we're back. Yes. Back again. Night. Good night. <laughs> you too. Okay. Just keep rolling. We're not cutting any of this. They sleep right there. So it can't be as loud. I mean, that's what we have microphones for. Yeah. They just talk right into the microphone. Yeah. People should be able to hear us. I like this. Do you see what I'm seeing right now? Baggetry in motion. I do see that. So how was your day? My day, let me tell you something. My my best friend. My best friend. Your best friend. My best friend. My best friend came out to see me today and it was it, it was it was such a delight. He he doesn't really frequent where I where I'm from, you know. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't really know too much about the area. Mm -hmm. So I know that he loves music, he loves records. He he loves it, and so you know we went to Bizarro Wug Street. Uh, there's a record shop at the bottom, and then there's okay. a comic book shop at the top. That's cool. Yeah, it is very it's very amazing, and um, I kind of want to go there right now. You know, I should take you there sometime. Yeah, but uh, tell me about your friend. Yeah, I'll tell you about my friend. He's he's the most adorable man I've ever met. He's sadly enough he's straight. He's straight, you know. Um, he's, uh, there are a few of us out there. Yeah, 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 there are a few. Um, but, uh, adorable. He's got a perfect little butt. It's like, it's, it's becoming humongous now. He eats a lot. Um, 
but you know he's he's working on it. He he plans on working on it. You know, and I'm glad mm-hmm. because you know you you want to stay on top of shit like that. But um, we can cuss on here, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure. Cunt. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. 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 You 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 speak freely. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah. So he's 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 very very. Genuine young man is what he is. And I adore him. He's a young man? He's a young man. A very young man? Not a very young man. Okay, but a young man. But a young man. All mm. right? All right. All right. So, um, yeah, he's, he's just, he's just a, he's just a generous young man. He's very, he's very sweet, very humble, you know, he's all around good person. Um, I I suspect that he like knocks out pound pussy every night, you know? Like like laying it down. Like uh, he's I'm, put he's probably putting construction workers out of business for all the pipe he's laying. I'm sure he wishes that were the case. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure it is. Like and we can't speak on it because I mean we don't I mean know. I don't even know him. Yeah, you you don't know him, so it's like <laughs> But yeah, I I took him there, um, treated him out to for lunch. We went to this place called Clocked. Mm-hmm. It has great burgers there, great burgers. He had a, um, what was the burger he had? Um, let me see if I remember what burger did he. I don't know if I would have a burger. I'd I'd like something with bacon. He, mm-hmm. I think you know what it was. I think it was it had bacon. Okay. It was. I think it was something strange like. Um, yeah. Um, Banana. No, but definitely down the Elvis like turn mm-hmm. lane. You know, it's like something in that area. Okay. What, uh, not bacon and banana, but um, bacon and jelly. No, no. I had something like that. Only it was jam. It had to be jelly because jam don't shake. It ha- it couldn't be jelly because jam don't shake. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I meant to say. Um, what did he have? It wasn't marshmallow fluff and bacon. I think that'd be too no. excessive. No. Um, it was something. Was it like a? It was a protein. It's like a butter or something. Yes, it it's was like butter. a spread. It's like a like a nut butter, you know. Nut butter. Like mm-hmm. a nut butter. I think. You know what? I think peanut butter, actually. Oh. Peanut butter and bacon. He had a peanut on butter. On a burger? Bacon. Yes, peanut butter that and bacon. That guy did that? He did that. And, um... Um, yeah, he did that. It was strange. He, he did it. Um, but I had... Did you try it? I did try it. You know, this is what I mean, how generous he is. He shared half of his burger with me. He shared the burger that you paid for with, with me, you? With me. And you know what I did? Because I was so... He's a great guy. I was so, like, shocked by that. I decided, you know what? I'm going to share half my burger with him. No. And I did, yeah. You did? Yeah, I did. Isn't it funny that we basically had a peanut butter and jelly bacon sandwich because I had jam on my mm-hmm. burger and he had peanut butter? And if we had combined them... Could you imagine? Can you believe? I'm trying to. That would have been amazing. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it. And uh, I believe I can fly. Do you believe you can fly? I mm-hmm. wouldn't test that theory out if I were you. Just want to keep you safe. Uh, there's a roof here. There is a roof here, but let let's not let's not. You got to crawl before you walk. Um, like, take but some I lessons can first. Fly. No, 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 no. Take some lessons first. Fly. No. No, no. Um, but he also got the sweet potato fries. Sweet potato it, fries are okay. Yeah. Um, it came with get. Oh my God, get this. Raspberry habanero ketchup. <gasps> I know. I know. I know. Could you? Can you believe? This is the thing. This is the thing. See, they say that there's like there's no original ideas. Out there. Mm-hmm. They say that years of innovation are long past behind us. Good God. Let me tell you something. If God doesn't exist, then what did I experience today? You know, it was delicious. He got that. I got regular old cheese fries. Cheese fries are a classic. Yeah, cheese fries are a classic. Um, and we enjoyed our meal. We, we enjoyed our meal. At least I assume he did. Um, did he eat it all? 
he did eat it all. Oh, get this. We went to uh, Ben and Jerry's. Yes. After all that, after the peanut butter and the bacon? Yes. You went to Ben and Jerry's? Yes. And see, this is what this is why I say that, you know, it's like, it's one of those, uh, he's a generous man, where it's, it's very humble, very caring. He paid for my smoothie. He bought me a smoothie. He bought himself an America, Americone Dream milkshake. Ooh. Can you believe it? Yes. No wonder his ass is so big. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, though. But whatever he does... Is making me happy. Um, so we were there, <laughs> and uh, a former uh, co-student of mine, a colleague, if you will, works there now. And it was such a shock. His name's Tyler. He's a very sweet man. Very cool. He loves cats. He loves tattoos. He's kind of gay. I don't know. Um, we, he and I reminisced about high school, and then he gave he g- gave us a ten percent discount. Ten percent. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's is expensive. Ben and Jerry's is expensive. I don't know how much it was because, I mean, I wasn't paying for it. No. But, um... You were just on the receiving end. I was on the receiving end. But you know what? He was on the receiving end earlier. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's... That's how you... It's like... That's your relationship. Yeah. It's a give and take. The give and take. That that is basically what our relationship is. Sometimes he gives and I take. Sometimes I take and he gives. And sometimes you're just too tired to... Do yeah. anything at all. Sometimes, yeah. That that is our relationship in a nutshell. That's why I love him. What well, you asked? Oh, I didn't mention this. He had to get his hair cut. He did. Yeah, it was a nice trim. Um, at first when he he gets trim. Yeah, he does get trim. Um, basically when he shook his hair, I thought he looked like a lesbian. But then I was like, no, no, he's adorable. He's adorable. Who doesn't like lesbians? But who does? Yeah, the alt right. They don't like lesbians. Well, they're called Nazis. Yes. Yes. Donald Trump doesn't like lesbians. Sorry to get political on this show, but he doesn't like lesbians. And tell that to Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Well, she already knows. Yeah, she does know. Oh, there are mosquitoes out here. There are mosquitoes out here. I think We're making that is, the ultimate sacrifice. That is the risk that Thank you t- for your service, the- Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> that is the risk that you take when you're a podcaster. Do you say that to people? To military people? Thank you for your service? Mm-hmm. No. Good for you. Yeah. You're the true hero. I am the true hero. The true American hero. Uh, America. Yeah. You know why I don't say it? Because I don't want them to feel as though they're better than me. What, just because they risk their lives? No, killing people overseas? Yeah, my grandfather did that. Like, it tortured him. And still, he thought he was better than people. My grandfather. And he's probably dead now. Well, almost. Yeah. I hope you get some of that money. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I hope so, too, because let me tell you something. He is rich. So rich. Um, He doesn't like white people. Mm. He doesn't like white people, which is funny because I surround myself with a lot of white people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think even though I didn't know he didn't like white people up until I was like seven, um, I think I surrounded Well, what have white people ever done for him? Um, not put him back on the fields? They could have. Well, I think black people need to understand that white people are their saviors. Because black people... Look, Joseph, I'm a black person. I could be on a field somewhere picking cotton. Mm-hmm. But you see what white people have done to ensure that I don't? They freed you. They did. They freed me. And they kept me free. Mm-hmm. White people are our saviors. Everybody says they're so woke. They're so woke. You know, a good night's rest is sometimes good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need to sleep it off. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think about it. Just yeah. Just put your mind at ease. Yeah. Everybody's like they're woke and they're awake and everything. Yeah. You know, if you stay awake, you don't get enough rest, and it leads to stress and paranoia, and you start mm-hmm. th- saying crazy shit. So yeah, if you want to be woke, if that's what woke is, good for you. But, but you're, you're not going to be woke. I'm not going to be woke. No, sir. I want to take me a nap here. I want to take me a nap there. When I get off work, I'm going to go to bed. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Why even go to work at all? Oh. Well, I mean, to appease the white people. I mean, they look mm-hmm. at what they've done after for all, me. Yeah, after all they've done. All they've done for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I am so indebted. Well, I wish white people would help me more. But you're white people. 
This is the first time hearing of this. You are. I don't see color. You don't see color? No. Oh, well, I'm sorry. A, a lot of people suffer from that condition. I do see color, however. It's really dark out here. Are, are you even here? Yeah. Anymore? See, that's how I'm I'm black. That's oh, why you can, yeah. Hmm. I, I, I see. Black. Um, that's why you don't see, co- you said you don't see color. You know white is all color, but you don't see color. I'm colorblind. Yeah, you're colorblind, but you're white. Yeah. It's society standards. Okay. Well, you're welcome then. Yeah. Thank you. You and your people have done so much for me and my people. And we gave you welfare. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I saw this, this horrible documentary. It's called Black Panther. And they call white people colonizers. Um, excuse me. Don't you mean trailblazers? Or colonels? Yeah. Like, excuse me? The only one I know of is Colonel Sanders. Like, instead of saying uh, colonizer, how about saying yes, sir? Or yes, ma'am? But more so yes, sir, because there are more white men in charge. And weren't they doing a bunch of gang signs in this documentary? Exactly. Yes, they were. They were saying who, 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 who. They sound like a bunch of monkeys. I'm sorry, but they did. I may sound controversial, I may sound non-woke, but that's what they sound like, and I won't apologize for it. I won't. I won't. Mm -hmm. And this was a comic book movie. A comic book movie, Joseph. I don't even know how to read. I'm glad I don't. Because if I read any of this, I would would just go... I would be flustered and in a tizzy. I, ho- I hope you didn't pay for this. I I didn't. I almost did. But it seems like giving money to a worthless charity or a cause. They're just going to spend it on something else. Exactly. You know what? This is what I like about you. You get it. You get it. I, like I, shoes? Oh, my gosh. I, fictional black people have no respect and this is what I don't get. This is like, you, you could have done so much. There's so much you could have done. Have more white people in their movie for once, you know? Yeah, where's the diversity? Where is the diversity? Where's I, the representation? I saw only two white men in this movie. Only two? Two white men. That's not the kind of world that I, and let me tell you, I've grown up in. Let me tell you this. This is what you need to understand. One of the white men was not American. Can you believe? I, he was not American. It was was astonishing. Taken aback. I, I, I was took aback and I wanted to go back to the front. Yeah, I'm returning it. Yeah, I, give me a refund. So people, people listening to this podcast, because you know we're on a podcast. Doesn't fit me anymore. Do not go see this movie, Black Panther. Do not. It is vile. It's cheap theatrics. Like, what message are they trying to bring to the forefront? I don't get it. Also, I'm going to say it, Forrest Whitaker dies. He's murdered. Forrest Whitaker is a known lover of white people. And they killed him in this movie. I'm so disappointed. You're disappointed that they killed him? Yes. He loves white people. But don't the white people know what's best? No. Well, you don't understand what I'm saying with this movie. This movie was made by black people who are being disrespectful to white people. Okay, so they killed him because he was yes. loving the white people. Yes. Forrest Whitaker is a known white person lover. He loves white people. He talks about it all the time. I'll send your regards to Forrest Whitaker's family. I send him emails. Send him tweets. I, you know what? I will hashtag send R.I.P. A special message Whitaker. on this podcast. People, if you know anyone in Forrest Whitaker's family, please sit there. I, I'm sure there's GoFundMe's, Kickstarters, Indiegogos. Um, Be a butler. 
Yes. Just be a butler for a day. Yeah. Yes. The last king of Scotland. Just be a dictator. Mm-hmm. Or know. a quarterback. Yeah. Or, um... Do you know? Squint in one of your eyes. Yeah. Every now and then. Yeah. Chase after Liam. If you Liam, hold it long enough, it'll stay that way. Chase after Liam Neeson after he has murdered his ex wife. You know? These things need to be done. So Forrest Whitaker's family knows that they're being looked out for by the public. Mm-hmm. Don't leave them alone at all. And white people, white people out there listening, Forrest Whitaker loved you. He talked endless about you, about how much he loved you. He gave his life for you. He did. He gave his life for you. Please, please just make sure his family's doing it right, because I'm sure that if Forrest Whitaker loved you, they probably loved him just as much, if not more. Just, I'm sorry, white people, that Forrest Whitaker was taken like this. Just put a picture on in your phone. Just put it as your background. Yes. Everyone should have a picture of Forrest Whitaker to remember him. I uh, just, I don't know if I could continue going because I'm getting very emotional after talking about this. I can tell. But the (laughs) Black Panther is such trash. How could they have done that? It just, (laughs) can we, can we cut?